Hey, 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 Uncle Matt here. I am at Safe Light Auto Glass. But don't worry, this is not just like a windshield vlog. I don't know why anybody would ever do that. My windshield's broken, I'm getting it replaced. While I'm waiting, because it's taking forever, I decided to get some lunch. There's nowhere to walk to anywhere nearby. I thought, let's do a lunch break sandwich review because I can get some Uber Eats delivered from a place I've been wanting to check out called Pot Belly. Food is on the way, waiting on the windshield. Cheap windshields are terrible. This is about the hundredth one I've broken. I don't want to replace them because they just break again, but just said I had to, so here we are. Food should be arriving shortly. So they just pulled my Jeep around back to fix the windshields at about 30, 40 minutes for the service, so kind of good timing. Food should be here any minute. Although in my description on Uber Eats, I said I was standing next to a black Jeep Wrangler. Now the black Jeep Wrangler is no longer here, so this could present a challenge with acquiring the food. I've never had food delivered to me in a circumstance like this where I'm just hanging out somewhere, it's usually at home, or I've had it delivered to like a hotel before when I was in a hotel, but this will be interesting. All right, so our pot belly has arrived. Let's dig in and see what we got. All right, so I did the like uh, soup and sandwich combo, got the Cubano, and got the chicken pot pie soup, because that sounded very good. The wind is trying to challenge me today. And I also got a chocolate cookie because it looked really good and it threw it in my face right as I was about done with the order and I couldn't resist it. So good job Uber Eats for promoting more food in my face. All right, here's a look at the sandwich. Soup. Soup already ate a little bit of that. I really forgot a good way to eat it and felt myself eating it with lack of hands and tripod today, but it's pretty good. It definitely tastes like what you would describe as uh, chicken pot pie soup, so it's a lot on the soup. The sandwich initial reaction, it looks a little, uh, not as like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Hefty as I thought, it kind of just looks like a, it's like a slightly fancier Subway sandwich, but we gotta taste it, see how it actually is. Cubano, pot bellies, bone apple teas. I wish I had a little bit more meat on there. I had to kind of move some stuff around to even get like the meat into the first bite, but. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Better than it looked originally. Okay, sandwich was good. We'll get into that when we do the loaf rating here in a second, though. We gotta eat this cookie. Soft, it's warm. It's gonna be incredible. Final thoughts on pot bellies. It was pretty solid. I would like say it's like, I think a good way to describe it would be like a, almost like gourmet is probably too strong of a word, but like an elevated Subway. That's what I would describe it. It was very similar to Subway, but a little bit better. Like the meat, you could tell it had a little more flavor to it. Like Maybe there's some seasoning or a little bit better quality of the meat that was on there. But like I said, it was kind of the same as what you get at Subway where it's like a, just a little flat strip of the meat in there. Not enough, you know. It's where you get spoiled at places like Jersey Mike's where they just pile it on there. And it's like thick with the toppings. I would get pot bellies again, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get it. There's only a handful of locations in the Nashville area. There's not one near me. One of the main reasons I got it today was because I knew there was one that I could get delivered to where I was at at Safe Light. So I went with it just to get it and check it out. But okay, if there was one nearby me, I might pop in from time to time, but it's not something where I would 
drive to the other side of Nashville to get or, you know, anything like that. So, on the loaf scale, I don't remember when the last time I did a video was. I don't know what, like, the loaf scale even is. I don't remember how many loafs is the top end, how many loafs is the bottom end. Obviously, zero would be the bottom end, but I haven't done one of these in forever, so I don't even remember, like, I might give this, like, a loaf that ends up being, like, astronomically high compared to previous loaf scale ratings, but I'm going to go... just go four loaves. I feel like four loaves is a pretty, pretty good spot for it because I think five loaves is, I think this was based on the Meltzer, Meltzer scale. So like five stars would be great. Anything above would be crazy exceptional. So four solid sandwich. We'll go four loaves. Cookie was phenomenal. The cookies are always the winner at these sandwich places for whatever. Like maybe if they put as much time into like making good sandwiches as they did good cookies, the sandwiches would be better but I'm not gonna complain about a good cookie. It was like eating a brownie almost, but. Anyways, that's it for this lunch break sandwich review. Windshield is fixed, belly is full, pot belly is full. No, I can't figure out anything like that. Onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards to what, I don't know. I'm rambling at this point. Subscribe to the channel, turn the bell on for notifications. Goodbye.